This is a short student video guide to the identification of Pinus radiata. The bark of Pinus radiata is very thick plated. Even on this relatively young tree, you can see the vigour from the depth of the fissures and the thickness of the vertical plates in between. Uh, and this becomes more prominent with age. The crown of the tree is relatively irregular, often with long laterals, and sometimes I've seen quite a few specimens with a very tall spire, uh, quite out of proportion with the rest of the tree. The male flowers, relatively non-distinct, um, pale cream uh, pollen cones that form at the base of new growth. But the female flowers are large, purple-red in colour, and notice that they're made out of lots of very small uh, pyramidal shapes, uh, giving a sort of club-like appearance to the head. Pine cones develop over two years, so this is the development after one year. Uh, still the cone is green in colour. Um, notice it's uh, born in whorls on the twigs, so there's often three to five pointing down uh, the twig and a very oblique at the base, a very large cone, uh, easily filling your hand, uh, if not slightly larger than that, uh, made from lots of rounded, chunky scales. And here is the mature cone, a really shiny, um, mid-brown colour, uh, almost ready to open up. They persist in their worlds on the twigs and branches, often for four to five years, which is also quite distinctive of Pinus radiata, given the size of the cones and the large numbers that are produced on some specimens. The sprays of needles are noticeably light green and rather fine uh, from a distance when viewed. And uh, this uh, pine varies. Most of the time the needles are bundled into threes and they're relatively soft and flexible. Occasionally you will, when you look on the spray, you'll find some bundled into twos. Um, but most of them are bundled into threes. And as I say, light green, grass green, and very flexible and soft. And here, this picture on the scaled paper shows the relatively soft, fine, and dense um, appearance of the needles as they flop. And here on this photo, I've separated out the three needles bundled together, just to remind you that it's pretty much predominantly a three-needled pine. Here is a close-up of the uh, pulvinus at the base of the needle, where you can see the slightly light brown uh, papery sheaf that bundles the needles together as they attach themselves to the twig. Uh, the winter buds are elongate, typically red-brown, and uh, with prominent small scales at their base. Often there's quite a large number of these uh, on vigorous shoots, but there's always one very large one um, with almost parallel sides. And here a close-up of the winter bud and you can see slightly resinous and triangular uh, closely held bud scales and this uh, triangular apex to this large terminal bud.